Let's go to crude oil. Here we go. The best way to look at this, just cookie cut these two setups. We had these setups all week this week again. It's happening on a week-to-week -week basis in all markets. Use our trend chart. I don't care about market profile per se. We do give it to you if you lease the program for confluence. But you really don't even need to use it if you just use my trend chart and use my Fibonacci arrows next to it. The trend chart this morning, we know by looking at all my videos, and if you're in the room, the trend started right here with the green arrows where my cursor's at. This started the trend up in crude. 90% candle, body of the candle closed right there. That started the trend up in crude. We've been up in crude. We never had a 90% candle close all morning. So since 4.45 this morning, we are going higher. So we want to buy pullbacks. How do we get in then? There's two types of setups that you want to look for. One is a momentum setup, which is a break retest of symmetry dots. And one is a counter when we get in with the wrongly position, uh, if we spot the wrongly position traders or the counter trend traders, we go opposite of the counter trend traders, which are called retracement trades. Let's first go over the first one, the momentum trade break retest, because this typically happens right after a trend change in on my trend chart. There's your 90% body of the candle close. So we know to look for what? I want to look for pullbacks to this white MA, meaning intra-bar, if this candle pulls back to the white MA, I want to look for an arrow to fire. Secondly, I want to see if it's all green and still green, pull back to the white MA to look for arrows to fire. I want to look for symmetry dots over here. I have red symmetry dots on the 5 sim, Rinko, and blue symmetry dots. I want to see if they're green, if the bars are green, I want to concentrate on the red symmetry dots because I want the market to break through. I want to retest my symmetry dots. This is momentum setup, break retest trade. It catches all the wrongly positioned traders, stops them out. There's your retest. Stop to the exact tick of my symmetry like it does quite a bit. That arrow is a definitely buy for momentum trade because look at my green bars over here. Look at my green bars. I got green bars on my trend filter is telling me buy the pullback to the small MA with an arrow long or by the break retest of the red symmetry, it nails the low. The second possible trade is this. The second trade is if my trend filter is up, I'm green. You don't have to be above all three MAs, by the way. It's just a smaller MA, but when you're above all three like we are and they're crossed up, that's the optimal time where the runner should really run. What I want to do is I want to wait for the first red bar reversal, red candle. When that red candle comes in, it lets me know that I'm catching the wrongly positioned traders. There's counter trend traders in the market. You got to love it. The wrongly positioned traders are now entering the market. We can now look for a long trade or a buy setup. We do not want to just wait for the market to turn green, candle close, open versus close. Our stop's going to be too big. I'll, right when that first red bar closes, I want to start watching my symmetry dots over here. I want to look for the first pullback to symmetry. It can go below it, enter your bar, just can't close a body of candle, close below it. And I want to wait for the first arrow to fire off. It fired right there. As soon as that first arrow fires off, that's a retracement entry. I want to open the trade, put my stop loss two ticks below the swing low, go for the first set of symmetry, second set of symmetry, third set of symmetry. You want to, you want to sell within two ticks of the third set. There's your second set. Uh, first set, you sell 50%, 75% on the second set, bail 100% within two ticks. It hit it. So your trade right there was 69 to 69.60. You had a $600 trade with a $120 stop loss per one contract. That's almost a six to one reward to risk. Catching the rolling position traders. If you missed that, let's go to the next trade. Green bar, green bar and trend filler, green bar, green bar. Red bar closes. You're catching the rolling position novice traders. Watch for my five sim Rinko on a retracement trade. Remember, retracement trades, we watch for the five sim Rinko. Momentum trades, we watch the three sim Rinko for arrows, right? Or momentum trades, we look for the symmetry dots to break retest three sim arrows also. But what we do is when the first red bar closes, I mean, second red bar closes there, Start watching your five sim Rinko. Where's my symmetry dots? It's got to come within two ticks. There it is. 
It can exceed it, just can't close below it. There's an arrow long. Once it closes, get long the market. Scale first set of symmetry dots 50%, 75% up here with two ticks. Now your second trade just produced a $450 trade. So I had a $600 potential trade on the first arrow. That's a six to one reward to risk. And I got a four and a half one reward to risk on the second arrow. The first arrow right here, the trade was 95. That was a $500 trade with risking 120 bucks, almost a five to one reward to risk. We are now three for three, one, two, three for three off the five sim using the trend chart on only these two setups. Just cookie cut those two setups over and over again. If I look what happened on my shorter term Renko bar, if I look at my shorter term Renko bar, it nailed the low right there. There it nailed the low. That was a pause in the market right here. That caught there. We're only position traders. There's your red reversal bar. We're only position traders. That's where the five sim fired also gave you confluence. There you go off to the races. Okay, so those are the two trade setups I want you to concentrate on. I want you to concentrate on the retracement trade, which is based upon our opposite color bar on the trend chart, and I want you to concentrate on the momentum trade, where you have green bars, green bar, green bar, green bar, green bar. Let's say this green bar pulled back right here. Let's say it pulled back right there. See the space, the open versus close. Let's say it pulled back and touched that white MA. As it ticks down, tick, 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 and touches that white MA, watch your three sim Renko bar fire an arrow. That's when you want to get in. And that's all we're doing. We're trading retracement trades. We're trading momentum trades with the trend of the market. We're trading retracement trades and momentum trades with the trend of the market. Either you break retest symmetry with a momentum trade, you're, you're trading the opposite side of symmetry, or you're retesting symmetry with a retracement trade based upon the trend chart. Simple as that.